name is Diane Stapleton and I'm a mixed media abstract artist. This video is about learning to let go of the outcome and be more involved and more joyful in my process. There's a quote by Helen Frankenthaler that I'll paraphrase, which basically says, risk ugly, which means you just have to let go of the outcome. And that was really the purpose of all of this. I tried to do each one in 10 minutes, and that was hard. So then I decided I'll give myself 30 minutes and set them up as a series, and that worked out much better. The first day it took me about 10 hours because I wasn't respectful of my timer. And the second day took me about mm, six or seven hours. And finally on the third day was, was down to about five hours. And I was more tired on the second day than the third day. But it, it felt pretty good to do all of this and just paint, 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 paint. Well, one big surprise that uh, many of them are actually pretty good, <laughs> which <clears throat> tells me that I mean, just going on intuition, colors I like, lines I like, shapes I like, different things like that, I, I do have an intuitive thing going on as far as design and color. I do like bright colors. Um, and I was just trying everything. I, I used bubble wrap, I used rubber, rubber stamps, and you know, things that made circles, cardboard, straight edges to create straight lines with the brush, um, Sharpies, everything you see there on the table, I, I used, <laughs> including screwdrivers at times, I think, to scratch through surfaces. And a lot of it was just, trying stuff and it, it didn't matter if it failed or not which is really a very good feeling to let go of that and it kind of leads to a no fear aspect of, of painting and that's how that's how all art should be really um, before I did this I had basically been working mostly realistically and I was just dragging myself into my studio and not looking forward to it, which told me that I needed to find a new direction. <clears throat> and uh, so I started taking classes uh, with my friend, uh, Patricia Byron, who teaches at Crealde School of Art here in Winter Park, Florida. And uh, she's very free, very gentle, just a good soul and uh, she really helped to push me to move more and more into abstract which for me means moving more into who I am as an artist. Now I look forward to going into my studio more and I don't labor over things for hours and hours day after day like, like I used to. What advice would you give to someone taking up a 100 painting challenge in three days? I'd say eat well and take care of yourself. I had taken a workshop put on by Thriving Christian Artists in Asheville, North Carolina in October and a wonderful instructor named Ellie Milan and sort of told her how I was feeling and she said, well, here's what you do. It sounds like you haven't found your unique process yet. So here's a hundred paintings in three day challenge. And I asked her how I went about that. And she said, well, they don't have to be big, nothing bigger than 12 by 12. And uh, just prep all of them with gesso or whatever kind of coating you want. Um, get all of that ready and then just start painting and spend maybe 10 minutes on each painting. And I got them ready in early November, but it took me till early March, right when the virus hit and lockdowns were happening and quarantines to, 
to finally say, okay, I'm, this is the time to do it. What better time? So that's what I did. I did find something near to my process, very close, was to just, it, a lot of it centers around play. And then when you're done having all that fun to sit back and look at it and, you know, really do a self-crit on the design and the values and, and then the color. I started to get a handle on self-crit from a teacher I'm working with right now named Nicholas Wilton. He teaches that design and value are the most important things when making a painting. And that's really helped me to teach myself as I go along. I think that the most rewarding outcome of doing 100 paintings in three days is to just have done it. It feels like an achievement, um, and it has shown me that, that I can do that, that I can just have fun and do it and work a little bit and work often and really have fun and have people enjoy my work. I look at them as they're all done they're all so different and surprising in how different they are. Um, and I, there's only a handful that I really think either need to be thrown away or need to, to be re-looked at and, and, and added to. One of the things that I learned that's very freeing is if you don't like it, just paint over it instead of trying to preserve what you like, just start again on the same canvas. It just really doesn't matter.